Welcome back to part two, guys. So let's continue where we left off. If you receive an email, SMS, or phone call from an unfamiliar source, enter it into a search engine and see what comes up. If it's a part of a known social engineering attack, the sender may have been flagged before. Even if the sender looks legitimate, check anyway, because the email address or phone number may turn out to be only slightly different from the real source and it may be tied to an unsafe website. This method doesn't always work if the phone number has been spoofed as part of the social engineering attack. If a web search doesn't raise any red flags, another way to prevent an attack is to directly contact the organization claiming to have contacted you. Basic critical thinking skills are one of the best ways to prevent a social engineering attack from happening to you. Recent social engineering attacks carried out on Twitter involve celebrities like Elon Musk and Bill Gates appearing to tweet out offers to give away thousands of dollars in Bitcoin if followers only gave them $1,000. If celebrities promising to give away thousands of dollars in Bitcoin sounds too good to be true, it probably is. In this form of social engineering attack, intuition and common sense can go a long way. Be wary of others and offers that tout lavish rewards in exchange for a seemingly small fee. And if the solicitation seems to come from someone you know, ask yourself, why would they really ask me for information in this way? You can save time the hassle of checking sources and still prevent social engineering attacks by using trusted antivirus software to flag suspicious messages or websites. Security software detects and blocks malware and identifies phishing attacks before they can lure you in. Have you ever been socially engineered? You may not have noticed because in real life, social engineering attacks take on many different forms. In information security, social engineering attacks often appear as an email, text, or voice message from a seemingly innocuous source. You might think you can spot a suspicious email on your own, but attackers have gotten much more sophisticated with their delivery. The following real-life examples show that even organizations and individuals with sophisticated defense against cyber attacks and resources for social engineering prevention can still fall victim to their insidious attacks. In 2020, Twitter became the site of social engineering attacks in which the accounts of Barack Obama, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, and others were hacked in attempt to solicit Bitcoin from their followers. The creators of the social engineering attack earned nearly $120,000 in Bitcoin. But the bigger danger was the clear access the hackers gained to celebrity accounts, although reportedly no personal data was compromised. Dating back to 2011, the infamous Twitter swindler continuously tricked victims into paying for a lavish lifestyle via a string of romance scams. He used a combination of manipulation, love bombing, and lying to get it Eventually stealing around $10 million in his final two years of social engineering trickery, in 2019 he was convicted and in 2022 this year the swindler fell for a scam himself, losing almost $7,000 of his hard-earned scammed cash. In 2018, vacation rental phishing scams, in which hackers impersonate landlords offering real vacation listings were so common that the U.S. Federal Trade Commission issued a warning about them. In many cases, real landlords' contact details were hacked, leaving victims to think that they were discussing a rental with the actual owner. The 2017 hack of Ethereum Classic cryptocurrency where hackers impersonated the owner of classic ether wallet was another high profile real life social engineering scam the hackers stole thousands of dollars in cryptocurrency from unsuspecting users these days social engineering scams are still prevalent in the crypto community and protecting against crypto jacking has become a high priority the email hack of the u.s democratic party in the middle of the 2016 u.s presidential election is one of the most iconic social engineering attacks in recent memory Russian hackers released a sphere of phishing attack against Democratic campaign leaders, which let them exfiltrate sensitive campaign information and voter data from nearly 500,000 voters. Another famous social engineering attack was the 2014 cyber attack on Sony Pictures. When North Korean hackers sent phishing emails disguised as Apple ID verification emails to Sony Picture employees, the hackers then used the login credentials to wipe Sony's network and steal financial records and other private data from the company. 
Social engineering can happen to anyone, in person, over the phone, or online. And it's also a fairly easy method to use when carrying out scams, fraud, or other crimes. Social engineers don't need to have strong technical skills, they just need to be able to trick you into handing over sensitive data. The fact that we're all at risk makes it a potentially devastating scam. Social media has helped social engineers get more savvy, letting them set up fake profiles that can easily pass as real or even impersonating real people. I always stay vigilant when looking at strange or unpro- unknown profiles on social media. The manipulative tactics of social engineering are insidious. Often victims of social engineering don't even realize they're being manipulated until it's too late. While cognitive biases may have been may have adaptive purposes, they can certainly be used against us. Social engineering attacks trawl for users' private information and can lead to identity theft, extortion, and more. We should remember that social engineering attacks often come from apparently trustworthy sources. It's not just finances that are at stake. Sometimes victims' credit scores and online reputation tumble, and debt in their name can skyrocket. While such situations are reversible, it can take a long time and endless communications with authorities to clear your name. Using cybersecurity software will help, but it doesn't make your brain hack-proof. The best way to prevent social engineering attacks is to learn how to recognize them when you see them. If you think you've fallen victim to a social engineering attack and someone has access to your personal information, a security tool such as Avast BreachGuard can help. BreachGuard has features that help it scan the dark web to check your personal information if it has been leaked and it will guide you in how to respond if it has. And if your info finds its way onto a data broker database, Avas Breach Guard will help you remove it and assess your security protocols to ensure it doesn't happen again. Remember to start sh- shoring up your digital defenses immediately. Anyone can be a victim of a social engineering attack because we all have cognitive biases we're not always aware of. People who lack tech savviness are more socially isolated, such as the elderly may be more vulnerable. But technological know-how alone, even in business, can protect people from psychological manipulation. When it comes to social engineering attacks, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. In many cases, there is no cure to social engineering other than changing your passwords and absorbing financial losses with as much dignity as you can muster. As powerful as the human brain is, it can still lead us astray. That's where Avas One comes in. Avas One uses smart analytics to detect and block the types of attacks that social engineers love to deploy before those attacks can infect you. Avas One also scans suspicious files before you inadvertently open them, and it will help you to patch cracks and other exploitable vulnerabilities in your system. Best of all, Avast One is completely free and features a built-in web shield for dedicated phishing protection, so you'll never fall victim to social engineering in your inbox. So we have reached the end of this series on social engineering. Make sure to hit the bell for notifications so you never miss out on any of our future content. Stay safe and secure, and we'll catch you in the next one.